Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a video testing out some new makeup products. Now, I have a few products here in front of me that I'm now realizing when I grab them, a lot of these are from one size and I really haven't tried anything from one size. I don't know why. I have a bunch of it, but I've never really tried any of it, but I see people raving about it all the time, like it ending up in people's favorites and ending up in their most used or like holy grail products. And if you don't know, one size is Patrick Starr's brand. They're not all one size, but a lot of them are, I'm realizing now sitting in front of me, like there's this turn up the base B BB cream, the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. Ooh, that sounds nice. And then I've got some bronzers here. So we have the Bronze and Sculpt Trio in Fair and Light. And then whatever this guy is, Cheek Clapper 3D Blush Trio. I just have some other stuff that I wanted to give a go to today. So I'm gonna try these out, see how they work for me, and see if I can incorporate some new makeup into my routine. But I just wanna, I don't know, play with some new makeup and give it a go and see how it goes. I haven't really tested out anything in a while. I've kind of been sticking to my my regular products that I know and really like. Um, I've been using this a lot. If you guys are interested, this is the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation. It's really good. It's just a very light to medium coverage, very skin-like, easy to buff in product. Before we hop in, I'm gonna be doing a Savage X Fenty try on for you guys. I have been working with Savage X Fenty for a few years now. So I am going to try on a couple of these lingerie slash sleepwear slash loungewear pieces. Let's go do that real quick. And I'm gonna show you guys some cute little undergarments and then we will be right back to try out the makeup. Okay, so we are going to be doing Savage X Fenty try on. If you guys don't know who Savage X Fenty is, I assume you do, but if you don't, they are a lingerie, bra, sleepwear, undies, bralettes. They have everything. They have boxer briefs. They have so many different styles and sizing and they're a very inclusive brand as well. I feel like they have a really, really wide range of sizes. They have a really huge, huge range of styles to choose from as well. Anything from the super comfy to like really lacy and fitted bras. So you've got really everything on the spectrum as far as like undergarments go. I get this like onesie. It's called the Savage X hooded onesie, I think. I'm telling you, it's probably like one of the most worn things that I have. So uh, I've got an extreme amount of use out of it. I wear the bralettes constantly. I also wear like the really high rise undies. I really love a lot of the items that I've tried from Savage X Fenty, they're just great. And if you guys are interested in checking out Savage X Fenty, I'm gonna have all the stuff in the description, but right now they are offering, you can get two bras or bralettes for just $29. You can get 50% off your first order site-wide as well when you sign up for the extra VIP program. So, so I'm gonna try some of this stuff on and show you some of the things that they have. So this right here is in the size XL. This is the Carnival Satin Smoking Jacket in the color Caviar. So I feel like I could have sized down on this actually. I tend to go for XL or double XL even maybe sometimes because I like things to be very loose and comfortable, but I think that I could have gone down a size because the sleeves are a little long on me. But if you're taller than me, I think that you would really like this. It goes down to about my knee and it's very soft, silky, what's the, texture satin. I certainly don't smoke, but if I did, I would smoke in this jacket. So underneath it, I am wearing the Vaporwave Forever Savage Bralette. This is in Malibu blue, and this is an XL as well. It's so interesting. This texture is like rubbery. And then these are the Vapor Wave Forever Savage leggings, and these are Malibu blue as well, and this is side XL. I actually really like this color. I feel like this color's really trendy right now. I have seen this like really neon, vibrant, bright blue in a lot of different things lately. So we're still in the blue. So this is a sleep outfit. Now, I was recently talking to you guys in a video about jammies and how like I'm super, super into wearing matching jammy sets. Now this is very, very lightweight. This is the monogram Voile, 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 V, O, I, L, E. I don't know how to pronounce that word and I'm not even gonna try to anymore. Sleep top and this is in the color surf blue and this is an extra large. I could absolutely have sized down on this as well. Um, comfortable, absolutely 150,000% but a little bit large for me, I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't actually put my sizes in to Savage X Fenty since after I was pregnant, I don't think. I think I just kept the sizes the same. So I could probably definitely go with a large and it would probably fit me a little more like that. 
very comfortable, very airy, and very loose fitting. It's not fleecy in any way. It's a very thin, lightweight material that feels very comfortable. And uh, if, again, if I had the right size, I think this would be absolutely perfect for me. So uh, that is the thing about Savage X Fenty though. We have a really wide range of sizes. Trying to get a little action, unbutton a little bit. You've got your bralette on under, you know what I'm saying? It matches, it's cute. Do it back up when you're like, I've had enough. Okay, and this is, I haven't really seen a robe quite like this. It's actually so cute. This is called a peek behind the lace robe. And then I have a peek behind the lace leggings. They're both in navy blue and they're both in size XL. There's these cutouts where you can see your skin behind. Look at that. That's really cute. And then the robe matches. The material of this one is what I really love. It is... I, I don't know, really stretchy fabric. It almost feels like Modal that I was talking about in one of my last videos. If you guys didn't watch that one, I will link it up here. But it's the favorites video that I did talking about like that really soft, breathable, comfortable fabric. It does feel kind of like Modal. So I don't know if it is, but it, might be. All right, that is the Savage X Fenty try on. If you guys are interested in checking out Savage X Fenty, again, like I said, I'm gonna have the link in the description of this video and any information that you guys need. Right now, you guys can get two bras or bralettes for just $29 and 50% off of your first order site-wide when you sign up for the extra VIP program through Savage X Fenty. So I'm gonna have all of the links and everything that you guys need in the description. I thank you so much to Savage X Fenty for sponsoring the beginning portion of today's video and let's hop into the makeup. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna try out is the turn up the base bbb cream beauty blur balm that is really hard i don't know if this is my right color it almost looks a little dark for me oh oh the cap is like a sidey cap all right let's see what we're looking at on the back of my hand here oh that came out kind of globuly okay it looks like this is going to be a fuller coverage than i'm usually used to lately so let's start off small oh this is the shade Light 2. It's light with golden undertones, which is honestly typically what I end up going for. So I feel like the color matched me pretty well. They sent this to me. This was sent in PR. This was not purchased by me. I'm honest with my review either way. <laughs> you know. I feel like I'm tanner than this though. It's a little bit lighter than I would typically go for. Okay, let's look up close and see what we're looking at. All right, it looks fine. TBH it looks a little bit dry. I don't know if you guys can see. It's a little bit more matte than I would go for, but I bet you with all my stuff that I'm gonna put over the top of it, it would do it up quite a bit. And honestly, the color matches very close to my skin and my neck, whereas lately I've been naturally going a little bit darker. So it's a pretty good color match. I would call it a high medium coverage. This does not feel just like a tinted moisturizer or anything. It didn't claim to be, it says it's a BBB cream. That's a little higher coverage than I've been kind of gravitating towards lately, but it's not, it's not bad. I'm trying to buff it in quite a bit so that it's not like sit, just sitting on top of the skin. And I'm gonna fix any areas like down here. I have a lot of redness down here. As you can tell, I'm gonna try to use the concealer and see for that. But off first application, it's not bad. I would totally go out like this, I think it's fine. I'm gonna try the concealer now, and this is the product I feel like people are like shitting their pants over. And so we'll see what I think about it, but this is the shade Light 4, and this is again the Turn Up The Base Butter Silk Concealer. Butter Silk, man, that sounds nice. So I'm just gonna put a little here. From the way Patrick does his makeup, I'm gonna say this is probably gonna be pretty high coverage because Patrick likes that coverage. And so do I on my under eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna try with my finger first maybe. Well, I don't normally do my makeup that way, so. Butter Silk, it's a nice name. Makes me hungry. Okay, nice coverage. Again, a little bit dry for me. I guess I'm just really into a dewy coverage these days where it's like kind of minimal but very skin-like, and I feel like this is a little heavier than what I'm preferring these days. Now, if you like a more matte product, you might really like this. It definitely has a more high coverage matte. It, it doesn't necessarily look like it. Look, you can see a little bit of shimmer coming off of it, but I feel like in person, it looks a lot less like that and a little more makeup-y. Let me toss a little down here. It's not bad. It's just one of those products that it needs to be your cup of tea, you know? Because right now, uh, my cup of tea is like that barely there makeup. Can't really feel it on the skin. The coverage is nice on that. My favorite concealer that I tend to just continue to go back to time and time and time and time again 
over the years is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I also really like Tarte Shape Tape. Everybody likes Tarte Shape Tape, but um, ColourPop No Filter is like my number one favorite. It's just such, such a good product for me in particular. You can see it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It's just a little bit more, I would say this might be better suited for like oily skin. Um, but in general, I would totally leave the house like this. I don't feel like too cakey or anything. I definitely feel like maybe you can tell I'm wearing foundation, but not super a lot. So it's, I don't know, I feel like it's pretty good right now. So we'll see how it holds up. So I tend after I do my foundation to go straight into bronzer. I really like that I can see where my makeup's going when my bronzer is done. So one size also has bronzers. And this is the light trio right here. And you have attention needed, tea drinker, and clock it. And so these are the shades here. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna kinda judge it when I open it. Oh yeah, okay. I know which one I'm gonna use now. So this is the fair trio and this is unclockable, cut it up, and made for shade. So this is more of your contour product, I would say. This is the Bronze and Sculpt Trio. This one is a lot more gray and has more of like the shadowy undertones. And I would call this one more of like the bronzer. So I'm gonna go with this trio here. As much as they sort of look different on camera, in person they almost look like they could be the same shade, just slightly different. So I'm going to dip into the darkest shade, I think. So I do get quite a bit of kick up, but not like terrible. But you can see it's, you know kind of powdering off, but no harm, no foul. So let us try. Ooh, a little too dark. Okay, I went a little too dark on that one. Really gonna have to buff that bitch in because... So I'm going to need to really... Oh no, okay, 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 okay. It is, it's buffing in. I'm gonna take a bit of the lighter shade. I think I made the mistake of going in with the darkest shade right off the bat. I, I don't know why I would ever do that. Usually you wanna start with the lightest and then go with the darker shades, but you know, we're being a rebel today. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so in person, it does not look like that. Like by any stretch of the imagination, this looks like I literally just painted carrot juice on my forehead. It is not like that at all in person. It actually looks completely normal, I feel like. In person, I look totally normal. And the bronzer looks like just fine. I just think I took it down too far, I did too much. And you know what happened to the girl who did too much too fast, right? She died, Jill. Okay. So I took my foundation <laughs> brush and just kind of took that down a little bit because I just think that was, I, I'm going in hard, hard and heavy. Okay. So what I will say about this product so far is that it is a lot more pigmented than it appears like it's going to be in the pan. It is a very, very pigmented product that you might wanna just do the tiniest dip and really blend it in before doing what I did, which was like really patting it in. And then I feel like I went way overboard and I'm gonna, it's gonna take a lot of effort for me to kind of tone this down a bit. Okay, that's, that's, that's a little bit better. So just a tap, just a tap, just the tip. Um, see, even just the tip and it's like really, really going on strong. So honestly, if you're looking for like a really strong, good bronze, Oh, this is strong, baby. But in a good way, I feel like it's blending out nicely. And in fact, it's very easy to fix when I feel like I'm putting on too much. It kind of blends out nicely. So I'm gonna go in down here. Maybe I'll take a more um, shadowy shade for my neck contour. Which one? I'm gonna go in with this bottom guy here. Yeah, they're not as warm. I wanna try the one size powder. I don't know if I have it, but I've heard such good things about it. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. When I use the monitor over here that I'm looking in, it looks way too overkill. And then when I look in person, totally normal. Like I look, I actually look kind of stunning. <laughs> Contour this jawline, get the shit out of here. So I feel like that looks quite nice actually. And like I said, in person, it looks really lovely. So I think it's just the camera picking it up. And as soon as I get this into editing, I'll be like, oh, it looks totally fine. I personally like to put some bronzer right here on my nose. Not everybody's cup of tea, but I really like it because again, I've said this a million times in the past, it makes it look like you actually got sun. Like the real sunshine that hits your nose bridge and you get all freckly and cute. That's what that does. Okay, let's do a little, oh, no, oh, no. It's all crushed. 
That sucks balls. But I think what I shall do is press it back in gently with my fingy. Oh, that sucks. I'm just gonna do this so it doesn't fall out all over me because I wanna use this middle shade. Oh, this is a cream. Look at that. Okay, so this is the problem with a product like this in the way. So it has this little cover over the top of the cream product. So you got one cream up here, which, which has its own little flippable cover, which is honestly nice because this product did crunch in shipping. And so um, it didn't get in it though. You know what I mean? It protected the cream. That's pretty good. I wonder if this is like more of the highlighter shade here or if this is like a shimmery blush. I don't, it literally could be either and it's hard for me to tell. 3D blush trio, okay. How pigmented are we looking at with this cream product here? Um, if you guys missed Am I Orange, I put that on. You don't have to miss it anymore. Oh, but it blends. I'm gonna try the cream blush because I'm feeling like when I put that on my hand just now and kind of blended it out, it seems like it blends really easily. So let's try it. Tapped a little bit on my foundation brush, the same brush I used. By the way, this is It Cosmetics Love as a Foundation Brush. Love it so much. So this is a very, I don't know what I would use to describe it. This is, I would call it like a summery blush because it almost looks, and I don't say this in a bad way, I say it in like a good way, sunburnish, if you will. Looks a little sunburny, but like in a hot way, like in a, you've been out at the pool all day and you look like you want to get it. Okay, you look like you want to get it. Maybe you just got it. Blends really nicely. It seems like it's going to be overkill and then it just isn't. I feel like that's really pretty. I'm going to take a little bit of the powder blush and just use a little bit of that in like a blush draping technique where you kind of go up here. Oh, I don't know what I expected. Okay, I don't know what I expected. I'll tell you why. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side because it's a powder product over a cream bronzer. Why did I think that that wouldn't stick? I don't know. See if we can do a little blendy blend. You know what? These products blend really nice. I'm just gonna say it. This brush, by the way, is the Lunar Beauty LBF6. I love the shape of it. It's a good one, but like, Blush draping would be like almost taking it up here into your eye socket area and you just look, mm, you're gonna get it again when you blush drape. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's not even what it is. I might be pretending like I know what I'm talking about. I feel pretty, I feel really pretty. I'm gonna take a little bit of that blush and put it on my nose because I just feel again like I want a little sunburn situation. All right, so that is really unfortunate that that happened. I'm sure customer service would be able to handle that. So if this was happened to you, I'm sure that you would be able to get a, a refund or be able to take it back or whatever that you need to do. I'm not going to do that because it was sent in PR and that would be weird. <laughs> I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick. Um, but this is what I've been using for probably the last like mm, two, three months. This is the Feather Effect Brow Pen from ColourPop and this is in the shade Medium Brown. It's just so fast. It's just so fast. So I like it because it's super easy and fast. It's just the perfect color. And it's not so pigmented that you're gonna make like a lot of mistakes. I literally love this product so much. I use it every single day. And in fact, I use the other color of the Feather Effect Brow Pen, uh, the light brown to do freckles. And I know that a lot of people recommend Freck. I wanna try it, I just have not tried it yet. I really, 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 really like this product a lot. My eyebrows are not gonna match today, you guys, and it's okay, because they wash off. It's so, so hard for me to do my left eyebrow. Nigh impossible, y'all. I, I, it's like, I can't do it. Okay, so the longer this one size product is sitting on my skin, I feel like the better it's looking, especially with the blush. It has the radiance in it because it was a cream blush. I feel like my under eyes are actually looking really good. They're not creasing nearly as badly, especially given that I did not powder them at all. Philly looks pretty good so far. It's definitely a product I'm gonna try again because I have kind of been sticking with the same products for a really, really long time and I'm totally ready to venture out and try new things. I am gonna put a bit of my favorite highlighter on just because it, I, well, I want to. Um, I'm not gonna try to overdo it, but I might end up overdoing it because it's me. This is the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Selenite. And I'm just gonna do a little bit today because I've been kind of going real glowy lately and I just want a little bit of shine at the top of these cheeks. All right, that made everything melt together and just look so good. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyes real quick. Oh, look, I have this. I forgot about this product. This is the, I wanted to try it. Crap, I just said I don't have any powder on it. I didn't need it, but this, is the Cherry Blossom Easy Bake Setting Powder from Huda. And basically it is a pink setting powder. Now I have seen, this is like the trend on the internet, you know, you've seen it. It is people using pink 
concealer to brighten their under eyes. So I am going to test it out and see how it looks on just one side of my eyes and see if it really does brighten me. So this is what the product looks like right here. It is pink. It does not smell like a cherry blossom. It smells like grandma. Let's try with a brush, just dotting it. Oh, I forgot how heavily scented that is. <laughs> If you do not like scented products, Huda, you need to skip altogether. Their products are next level scented. This literally smells like you took Febreze powder and just put it inside of a face product. It's maybe the sponge isn't the way because I do feel like this side looks brighter all of a sudden. Let's look and see what it looks like as far as like texture. Kind of like overly textured, honestly. I kind of preferred the way it looked before. I don't know, maybe I'd need to try it over a pink concealer because right now I just feel like it's sort of lackluster, you know what I'm saying? It just looks a little like nothingness. Like I could have used a regular powder and it might've been more, more brightening. So I'm gonna do my eyes really quick the way that I've been doing them lately. And this is with my pencil that I did with ColourPop. This is the shade Woodsy. You can use any brown liner that you have. You do not have to use Woodsy, especially because it's not available anymore. I wish it was, I wish it was a permanent product. I feel like this whole collection should be permanent. I'll tell you why, because it's cute as hell, okay? I'm just saying it. I think it's the cutest thing that's ever come out in the history of products. I feel so proud of it. I feel like it is my greatest accomplishment on YouTube in the 10 years I've been doing this. My ColourPop collab is like, I just, it could not be more like fundamentally me as a person. And I just feel like it turned out so beautiful and the products are just so, so amazing. And the colors are so good. And I'm just so proud of the the whole collection. So anyway, what I've been doing lately is literally just taking the pencil. I'm sure you guys saw this in my last upload or one of my last uploads anyway. And I just sort of take it and smudge it along my lash line. And then I take my fingernail and just sort of push it out, tap it a little bit. That's honestly it. Easy. Now I'm just gonna toss some lashes on. What I have been doing though, I have been doing something different with my lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies. They're not the Demi Wispies. These are like a larger version and you know, to each their own. I like them both, like the Demi, like the big. So I have been doing my lashes completely differently. And I know this is kind of like the popular thing to do lately, but it really has changed the game for me as far as my eye shape is concerned and not feeling like I'm wearing just way too much makeup, which I, I'm not as big of a fan of these days. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Okay, so what I've been doing is I take a pair of lashes and I just kind of pull them off. Do, do, do. Take a pair of either scissors or fingernail clippers or whatever you're gonna use to cut them with. So what I do is I actually take off quite a bit of the whole entire outside. So I personally cut off uh, that much, which is, I'd say pretty significant. I'd say a third of the lash. If you can see, focus, bitch. And cut it off from the outside, obviously because you want the taper to be there and the taper starts on the intersection. And then put your lash glue on. I am using the Duo Lash Adhesive uh, and I like this one right here. This is the one that I like. Little green, cleary, kind of goes on like a shimmery blue color and then dries clear. It's the one I like because it has the stick wand, you know, it's not like the squeezy tube. I am just really not a fan of the squeezy tube anymore. And then I grab my applicators. And then I've seen this technique and I think that I, Mario might have coined this technique, but basically you put the lash on and I start like in the center here and then I sort of stick it up higher than my actual lash line and it pulls the eye up. If you put it down on your lash line, sometimes it can kind of pull your eye down because that is like here and then it would like kind of drag the eye down. But if you set it up higher than your actual like lashes come out and then like put your mascara on afterwards it can really make a huge difference as far as like just really lifting your eyes and i really like it as soon as i saw that technique i've kind of done it every single day and like look at the difference right i know i just got so much love inside i cannot get these encanto songs out of my head you guys i can't home sweet home we need a new foundation my son is literally obsessed with Encanto, and the first thing he does is wake up in the morning and say tondo peas and tondo peas and i have a really hard time saying no to him and then i toss on some mascara and this is the mascara that i use every single day been using it for a year it is my favorite it is covergirl exhibitionist waterproof mascara gosh i might have been using it for two years yeah it's that good it's really good i highly recommend it if you've never tried it it's a great mascara it makes your lashes stay curled for hours 
hours and hours and hours, 24, maybe 36, maybe 48. I don't know who wants their lashes to be curled for that long, but if you do, it works. If you curl your lashes first, apply this mascara, your lashes will not move. And then this is pretty much it for the makeup, y'all. I'm not that creative as far as makeup goes these days. And you know what? I'm okay with that. This is the shade O Snap from ColourPop. I'm just gonna toss it on. And then again, I really like this gloss. This is the Powerful 5 Glossy Lip Oil from Catrice. All right, let's look at this makeup up close and see what we think of these one size products. I, get, I mean, honestly, I only used one product that wasn't one side, I feel like, in the entire face. Well, no, I used quite a few, but new product wise. Let's see. Let's see what I think about everything close up and personal. Okay. Mm, looks really good. <laughs> it looks really, really good. Um, I'm loving the way my skin is looking as it's melting in and sitting there. I will zoom y'all in and show you what we're looking at. I think that the bronzer looks really nice. It was a little overkill at first, but I feel like it blended out quite nicely. I like the blush color. It's a really pretty, again, it's like that warm sunburned goddess look. I feel like it's really pretty. I've been wearing a lot of pink blushes lately, so this is different than what I've been wearing. I feel absolutely lovely in this makeup. I feel like the one size products are actually quite good. I hate that that one product was broken, but again, I'm sure if it was a situation where I did purchase it and it didn't come in PR, I could totally take it back. And I'm sure that Sephora or wherever would return it no problem because there's this, it's like not an issue. Overall, I think these products were actually really good. Um, I think that this product is, so if you're looking for a foundation that it feels like a, I would, I would call it a high medium coverage. I would not say that this is like light coverage at all. I don't think it claims to be. It does call itself BBB cream, beauty blur balm. I don't know what makes it a balm. It just feels like a foundation to me. It is nice though. Like it really has a lovely finish and I feel like it's not overkill. The color's really nice on me as well. Again, it's light too. And I feel like it's a really good color match for me. Like really, really good. Um, I will absolutely be using it again. It doesn't have like a heavy fragrance by any stretch of the imagination. It's made in Italy. Um, lovely. I feel like it's just a really nice product and my skin looks absolutely beautiful. Concealer wise, I feel like it worked great as well. Um, and maybe the concealer, let me look up close. Maybe concealer. Honestly, that Huda powder at first, I was like not sure about, but I do feel like my under eyes look quite nice. So you guys can let me know if you notice a difference, but I feel like with the concealer and that Huda powder looks really good. I wanna try the one size powder, but I, I know it's gotta be here somewhere. Heaven help if I know where, but it is really beautiful. And I am honestly, feel like my makeup looks really good. Could you recreate this with other products? Of course, it's just kind of a personal preference thing. But I feel like the bronzer, the blush, the foundation, the concealer, all of those work really great. And I'm really happy with the way this turned out. And I feel honestly, frankly, like the hottest mom ever. Like, oh yeah, I'll do school drop off. Oh, I can bake cookies for the bake sale. I don't know, PTA meeting? Don't mind if I do. All right, well, um, gorgeous and love it. And I have no complaints so far. I don't know how it's gonna hold up. Maybe I can try to do a check-in at the end of the day if I remember. Sometimes I don't remember. Most time I do, sometimes I don't. Lately, my brain is not firing on all cylinders. It's firing on an eighth of a cylinder, usually. Um, so I wouldn't expect it, but be surprised if you get it. Okay, my friends, it is the end of the night. Let us see. So it is 9, 10 p.m. When I filmed today, it was about, oh, I forgot to check in. It was about noon-ish, I would say. And so here's what we are looking like at about nine hours of wear. Honestly, it looks pretty freaking good. I love how it has just become more natural throughout the day. My natural oils have been sinking in. I actually multiple times today turned on my camera to like film an Instagram story or something and thought, damn, my skin looks really good. So I actually really am liking the way that these products are sitting on my skin. So I'm gonna try them out some more. Let me know what you guys think from watching this, but I feel like they worked really, really well and I'm really enjoying these products on my skin. I feel like it looks beautiful. I really enjoy the way that my like contour blush stuff looks today. I just feel really pretty. So I don't know what you guys think, but uh, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. Let me look close up and see what it looks like after nine hours of wear. 
Yeah, my nose right here has sort of rubbed off a little bit. I don't know how much you guys can tell, but like I would say this area looks probably the worst, but it's not like bad. I'd say I really like the way my forehead looks. I love the way my under eyes look. Right here looks a little bit makeup-y. I don't know how much you guys can see, but it does look a bit makeup-y right here, but it doesn't look bad. I, would, I wouldn't be embarrassed by this or anything. Like if I went out into public and was like, damn it, my skin looked you know, crepey or anything like that. Like I wouldn't think that about the way that this looks. So yeah, I feel like it held it pretty well. It kind of rubbed off a little bit right here, but that's to be expected. And I wasn't trying to get super high coverage. So pretty impressed with just one day of wear. And I'm, you know, I'm, it's not a full review or anything, but I feel like I like it. I feel pretty still. I hope you guys enjoy this video and that it was somewhat fun to watch. It was fun for me to try new products. I definitely want to do this again because it has been such a long time since I have not overthought a video and just sat down and filmed it and not felt like, oh, this is gonna suck. <gasps> and I don't feel like it did. I feel like it was totally fine. So, <laughs> okay. Well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you at my next one. Bye.